This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeb Blunt, best-selling author of Fanatical Prospecting and Sales EQ, and I'm here to help you open more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. This is part four of my conversation with Lee Sauls on sales differentiation. And in this episode, we talk about positioning questions and discovery and why discovery is so important to differentiation. In fact, it's where true differentiation is born and why most deals are closed in discovery. Before we get started, though, I'm going to share my team secret for connecting with hard to reach prospects. You know, the ones that that don't return phone calls, don't respond to email, don't let you in the door and put up a wall anytime you're trying to connect with them and their company. We use a tool called Outbound Cards. With Outbound Cards, with a simple click and a swipe on an app, we can send a personalized card that gets our prospects attention anywhere, anytime from any device. I want you to go check it out, and you can try it for free. Go to OutboundCards.com. That's OutboundCards.com, and click on Send a Free Card, and there is absolutely no obligation. And I promise, when you start using Outbound Cards, you are going to be amazed at how it makes you stand out compared to your competitors. Now, here's part four of my conversation with Lee Sauls on sales differentiation. Everyone agrees we know more than the people we sell to around what we sell. However, if our strategy is to walk into a CEO's office and lecture them and say, let me tell you what you don't know, you make for a very short meeting. And again, back to what you were describing, uh, and you did it so well in, in Sales EQ, is, is the emotional aspect of this. So what we need to do is help people think differently about the solutions they have or could have. And the way we do that is with a tool I refer to as positioning questions. One of the common mistakes I find salespeople make in discovery is they ask questions specifically around perceived aspects that someone is either having problems with or things could be better. But if you're in agreement with me that we know more about the world of potential solutions in our industry than the people we sell to, we can't rely on their perception. We have to introduce opportunities for things that they could have different than what they presently have today. I'll I'll give you an example. I live in Minnesota, as you know, Jeb, and Minnesota's a weird state for, for a lot of reasons, but one of the oddities here is every homeowner and every business contracts for their own trash removal. So on Wednesday mornings, Every Wednesday, I have a parade. It's a parade of garbage trucks coming down my street representing all the different haulers, seemingly doing the same thing. Truck pulls up to the house, arm extends out, grabs the can, lifts it up, dumps the contents into the truck, drives away, you get an invoice. Well, CEO from one of these companies reached out to me and he said, Lee, I believe we're doing something different than our competition. We shouldn't have to fight over price. So they went through a sales differentiation program with me and he was right. They did have a lot of differentiators and where they were struggling with how to position them in a meaningful way. And one of those differentiators was a service they have called a can be clean truck. Only ones in the state of Minnesota that twice a year, they have a truck that cleans your garbage cans. Isn't that neat? That's cool. Right. Yeah. So they're residential salespeople, ones that are knocking on doors didn't know how to position this. And you can imagine if someone knocked on your door to talk about trash, how quickly you would walk away, not even open the door. So we developed a positioning question, which is an open-ended question that maps back to a particular differentiator of yours. And in this case, it was to be asked right in that first moment after they introduced themselves. And that question was this, when's the last time you had your garbage cans cleaned? Because we know they never have unless they did it themselves. And if Carrie has ever asked you to go clean the garbage cans, you probably had the same reaction I did when Sharon asked me, which is, oh gosh, you gotta be kidding me. It's a miserable experience. And what we've done right in that moment is help someone think differently about something as simple as trash, not because of something we've said, but rather a question that we've asked. Yeah, why isn't someone cleaning my garbage cans? Now, if we relied on their perception, we said, you know, one of the famous discovery questions, What are three things you'd like to have that you don't have today? 
no one would say, boy, I'd love it if someone cleans my garbage cans because they don't know it exists. And that's where it's our job to creatively introduce these ideas. Again, we can't lecture. We have to ask questions to help them think differently about the solutions they have or could have. So I want you to step back and think about what Lee just said. Uh, and I'm going to paraphrase. A question you ask is more important than anything that you will ever say. What you say sounds like every other salesperson that you're competing against. What you ask provokes an emotion. It provokes awareness. And this is why 80% of the sales process is discovery. It's the question that you ask that helps a person think differently. They begin to tell the story in their mind. And you always know that you've differentiated when you ask a question and the person sits back and goes, that's a pretty good question. Because I, I can promise you, if you're sitting on my doorstep and you say, when was the last time your trash cans were washed? I would have to step back and go, I don't know. But it stinks. Because <laughs> I know the last time I went out there, I think somebody threw a dead cat in it or something. <laughs> right? so, but it was the, it's the question. And and this is what gets missed. We don't understand. You know, the, the, the discovery is so important. And understanding the questions you're asking and the, the type of questions that are both artful, right? They get people to think and strategic. So they're setting up the next step for you as you move through the process. Uh, so critical. And most deals are closed in discovery. Now, I'm, what I'm, not, I'm not saying that, that the person leans across the desk and says, hey, let me have the paper and signs the paper. Right? <laughs> but they start yeah. making the decision to do business with you because it's discovery where you're building a relationship, you're demonstrating that you're willing to listen, that you're learning their language and you're learning their pain and their problems and their opportunities and the things that are important to them. You're understanding that, especially in B2B sales, you know, you're usually dealing with a human being that is using someone else's money to solve their problems. Right. And so you get, you, it gets personal. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Sales Gravy and make sure that you come back for part five of my conversation with Lee Sauls on sales differentiation. And if you are truly ready to stand out from the crowd, go check out OutboundCards.com. That's OutboundCards.com and click send a free card to try it for free. Mm -hmm.